this is Gina Miniard. And this is a practice to get tuned up. Some full body movements, hitting all the main joints, moving with the breath. So you can practice that on its own as a way to just uh, get some energy, get some attunement, or you can use it as a warm up for some of the other uh, classes in this sequence. Okay, so let's begin. Stand at the front of your mat, ground into your feet, connect to your breath. Bring hands to heart center, and a full breath in, a full breath out. And with your inhale, stretch your arms overhead, keep pressing into your feet as you reach. Exhale, bend your knees, press your hands onto your thighs for downhill skier. Take a few breaths here. Make your feet strong, move your hips back, and keeping your abdominals strong. So you're in a, a nice balanced curve of your spine, toning through your center. And as you push against your thighs, keep lengthening through your spine. So take another nice full breath here. And as you exhale, slowly fold forward from your hips, keeping the knees bent so that your back releases, folding forward from your hips. And with your next inhale, come halfway up and just repeat that movement. Hands on thighs, head up, chest up, and stand with your inhale nice and slow. Press into your feet, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, lower your arms. And again, inhale, stretch up with the breath. Keep pushing into your feet. Exhale, hands on thighs, tongue the center, lengthen the spine, take a breath. Exhale, fold slowly forward from your hips. Keep those knees bent to keep your pelvis tipping forward. Inhale again, lengthen to halfway, hands on thighs, head up, chest up, and push into your feet, rise up with your inhale, stretching up, exhale, lower your arms, a couple more times, inhale, stretch overhead, exhale, hands on thighs, lengthen through your spine as you inhale, toning the center, you can fold from your hips with those strong legs, bow your head down, on your back, length or run forward, hanging forward. And again, inhale halfway up, hands on thighs, head up, chest up, stand with your inhale, reach up all the way. Exhale, lower the arms. And again, inhale, start to add on, stretch your arms overhead. Exhale, hands on thighs, lengthen through your spine, take a breath, and exhale, fold forward from your hips. This time you can hold here a little bit longer. So get strong in your feet, from feet to hips, a little bend in your knees so you're dynamic. You can even pedal it out a little bit here. Keep toning your belly in and up to support this sort of hinging from your hips, releasing your neck, hanging your head down. Here I have my fingertips pressing and the shoulder blades moving up the back so that my neck releases down more fully. All right, so with your next inhale, arch up to halfway. We'll step back into a plank pose. So plank. You can have knees down or up, and the knee down version, you still want that straight line from knee to top of head, and the knees up as well. So you have a long straight line. Press down well through your hands, check that the fingers are spread, pressing down through the inner edge of your hand. And so keep the thighs lifting, a little lift of your sit bones, but here really activate your core. Pull your lowest belly in, pull your front ribs in, slide your throat back, deep steady breaths in and out. And from here, take another breath. And then slowly lower down into your front. Remember, knees can be down. Keep pushing through your hands. Keep that straight, strong line as you come down into your belly. And from there, stretch your legs longer behind you. And lift your hands off the floor and hold. So opposite of plank pose, activating the, the other side of the body here, the back body. So make your legs long and strong. Tone your belly. Stretch long through your spine as you move the shoulder blades more onto the back and we'll squeeze there a little bit of lift so take a full breath here and then hands on the floor tuck your toes you can go with your hands and knees to go back to a down dog where you can push yourself up back to plank and then into down dog double check that those hands are pointing straight ahead and pressing down well bend your knees spread your toes make this shape like the downhill skier at the, at the what we did at the top of the mat right so bend your knees so you're going to lift your sit bones a little higher, keep toning your abdomen in, and then from there you can press down through one heel and the other for a few rounds here. You can pedal down through one heel and the other, you can add a little swivel to one side and the other, a little more stretch through your side waist, and so on. A couple more breaths. Keep breathing into center, breathing out, 
opening up a little bit more. And then look to the front of the mat and tiptoe forward, even a light hop forward. And ground your feet, arch up halfway with the inhale, fold with your exhale. And halfway with your inhale, hands on thighs, same thing, head up, chest up, shoulders back. And stand with your inhale, you guys keep facing forward. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see me better. Exhale, lower the arms. So again, inhale, stretch overhead. And now add cactus arms, bend your elbows, turn your palms out. And keep standing steady, stand through your, steady through your feet. Draw your waistline back, draw into those shoulder blades, so you can turn your palms out and get a little more squeeze in those lower shoulder blade tips. So you want to bring your ribs back and your shoulder blades to meet that. And then with your inhale, reach overhead, turn your palms to face, take a wrist with the other hand and stretch over in that direction. Breathing, shifting your hips to one side, stretching your torso up and over, giving a tug on that arm to create more space. Inhale, bring it back up and switch, take the other wrist. Stretch it over, stay through your center, keep pressing into your feet, keep, keep drawing into those shoulder blades as you lengthen and stretch. All right, inhale, bring it back up, and exhale, come back to cactus arms. And then here, we'll add the bend of the knees so it's a squat as well. So cactus arms, cactus squat, we call this. Keep toning your center, strong into those shoulder blades. You can stay here or sit a little deeper, and with that reach overhead, take a breath. And exhale, fold forward again, stretch it through. Inhale, arch up to halfway. And step to plank pose. So body in a straight line, knees down or up. Push through your hands, tighten through your waist, belly, ribs, and throat. Keep a little lift of the sit bones. You're not all the way around here. It's neutral in your spine, but strong, 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 pulling in front and back. All right, take another breath. And push through your hands, lower slowly down. Remember, knees can be down. That's it. And once you come down, again, stretch your legs long and strong. Lift your hands off the floor like we did before. Your option here to take your arms by your sides with your palms up and keep lifting those arms up. Still tone your abdomen front to back. And then use the strength of your back body to curl up. Now you have options here. You can always come down and rest when you need to. Option to clasp hands behind your back, lifting up. Option to lift your left leg only. So toning to the center. Nearing through your waist, lifting that leg strong and straight. You can switch that out, press that foot into the floor, lift the other leg up. Careful not to bend the knee. We tend to bend the leg up when we do this. Keep reaching it by reaching through your toes. Tone the center. Keep a little bend of the elbows if you're clasping. So then release that down. Very good. Place your hands. And then with the next inhale, curl up towards a cobra pose. However high you lift is your choice. Keep reaching those legs long and strong. Toning your abdomen. Use the same strong hands and arms to lift your chest, shoulder blades strong. All right, lower down, downward dog, either through hands and knees. And push up through your plank and on your way back. Stretch it out, deep breaths. Press down well through your hands. And you bend your knees, lift your hips up high. Notice the core here is easy to drop down in your rib area. Pull your ribs in to support the length of your spine. All right, so we're gonna look to the front, heels high, hips high, tiptoe. We're gonna hop forward and arch up halfway with your inhale. Fold with your exhale. Head up and chest up halfway. So here you can bend your knees, hands on thighs, or try coming up, hands on hips, elbows up. Rise with your inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, lower the arms. And again, inhale, stretch overhead, cactus, squat, bend your knees, sit back into the hips. And from there, sit a little deeper, reach the arms overhead, take a breath, exhale, fold forward. So adding on here, arch up halfway with your inhale, and step your left foot back to a lunge. Fingertips on the floor, or maybe you have a set of blocks with you, you can always put two blocks under each, under each hand, right, no extra support. And as you breathe here, make sure that lunge is long enough. That front foot between the hands, that back leg reaching. Press your back thigh higher. Bend with the exhale into the front knee deeper. Place your hands and step to plank. Just hold plank, take a breath. And downward facing dog. Stretch it up and back. And look to the front, heels high, hips high, tiptoe or lightly hop. Arch up with your inhale. Right foot steps back with the exhale. Again, you can start by bending the knees first, then your hands already square your front foot. 
And that makes it easier to have that foot between your hands. You can always pick it up and place it forward more if you need to. Stepping into the lunge sometimes is the hardest thing we do in yoga, right? So settle and breathe. Stay connected to your deep, rhythmic breath. And as you breathe in, press your back thigh higher, strong and steady. Exhale, bend deeper into that front knee. Nonsense. So again, press your hands down. Step to plank. This time you can move through that flow. So lowering down with your exhale, remember you can touch knees, keep that long straight line. Extend your legs long and strong. Cobra pose, tone your abdomen, lift chest, lift head. Exhale, down dog. Stretch it up and back. So breathe. Smooth, deep breath in and out here. And then here with your next inhale, lift your right leg up slow and steady, not twisting at your hips. Keep your abdomen strong. Exhale, step that foot up between your hands. Look at that's a hard step. You can pick up the foot and move it up a little further if you need to. And then here we're going to walk both hands to the left, both feet to the left. So your feet are now parallel with each other. And you can walk the hands out further under your shoulders. So breathe fully here. And now bring a firm bend to your knees. Keep your chest and head up, long through your spine, like we did at the very beginning of class. Tone your belly. Elongate your spine two directions, tail on top of head. And you can make your feet strong and bring that strength up into your hips. So you're lifting the sit bones slightly, but pulling the belly in. And with that, you can start to bend a little more into your right knee. Inhale back to center, bend a little more into that left knee. The idea is to move slow and steady, keeping that strength connected up into your hips, from feet to hips, and letting these movements build your connections, not just, you know, sort of moving side to side, but from feet to hips, strong, long through your spine, so you're making connection, rhythmic movement and connection. So then, the next time you go to the right, keep going to the right and walk back around to the lunge, pause, Really square those hips forward, including pulling that right hip strongly back. Left hand can stay on the floor, put your right hand on your knee and twist. Turn your belly and chest to the right. Pull your abdomen in. Keep tacking that right hip strongly in and you can stretch that top arm up or just keep it on your knee. Breathe into center, strong through feet to hips. Breathe out. You stretch out a little longer, more open, elongating through your spine. Take another full breath here. Exhale, touch down, we'll step to plank, hold plank, just find your steady center, downward facing dog, stretch it up and back. Left leg up with your inhale, slow and steady, keep your hips level, abdomen strong. Exhale, step that foot up between your hands. This again, twisting lunge, so make sure that foot's between your hands. Right hand stays on the floor, left hand on your knee. Scissor in with your legs, when you pull strength up the legs, pull to the middle. Left hip strong, left abdomen strong. As you twist open, elongating through your spine, option then to stretch that left arm up. Breathing in, pull it all in strong. Breathe out, stretch out into a little longer, a little more fully open. Good, take a breath here. Exhale, touch down. We're going to pivot again, so walk both heels to the right. And here you are on the other side. So from here, press into your feet, hands on hips. Rise up with your inhale, nice long spine. Now from here, Turn your right foot towards the back of the mat and bring your hands to the front of that thigh and lift your back heel up and square around to the front. And here, just make sure again you're uh, turning that left hip forward, pulling that right hip in and under, tongue the abdomen like you practiced. And then stay here with hands on knees where we do some dynamic movement down and up, or you can also bring hands to hips and challenge yourself to hold your balance here. So with your inhale, straighten the front leg a little bit more and really firm into your hips. Keep toning the core and then bend back towards that lunge. Let's do that four more times. Inhale, squeeze and tone through your center. Exhale, keep the strength of the muscles pulling up. Inhale, lifting up. What I mean is pull those muscles in and up and then stretch back out through your bones with the exhale a bit longer. Two more times. Hard to balance there, see? Gotta yeah, hold the center one more time here. Okay, so then this time as you straighten the front leg, we'll pivot carefully. We'll soften the knees strong in your feet. Go the other way. Turn that left foot forward. Spin your right heel up. Hands on hips. Stay hands on front knee for more balance, more support. We're going to bring hands on hips. Balance is a problem for you here. You can put a hand on a wall, right next to a wall, right? You can put a hand there for support. And so here we go. 
Inhale, straighten, pull the muscles up the legs like a, like a sheath. Keep firming those hips, and then exhale, push back down through the bones, grounding, toning the center. And then inhale, pull strength up, gathering in. Exhale, bend a little deeper. Three more times, inhale. Exhale, lengthen through your spine as you push through those bones two more times. And last one here. All the way through, so push back down, keep lifting, and then straighten to pivot carefully. And then go back to that right leg. This time, hands on the front thigh, lifting that back heel up, score all the way forward. And then lower your back knee slowly down. Now you might need some cushioning under that knee. Flip the sticky mat, put a blanket down, whatever you need. And then here, you can stay here the whole time. Try keeping your back toes under, tucked for a moment, to so pull strength up your legs and square your hips. Tighten the center, bend a little deeper into the front knee. Then options, hands on hips. Options, inhaling the arms overhead to cactus first. So you curl your chest a little higher, staying strong in the front. Option to reach arms overhead. It's also an option to point your foot back. It'll be more of a sense of moving the stretch through your whole body. If your back leg gets floppy, keep the toes tucked, okay? So stretch up with an inhale, keep opening. Then exhale, touch it back down. This time we'll lift the back knee and pivot to the left. Feet parallel, hands on hips, rise up with your inhale. Turn that left foot forward. Carefully spin your right heel up. Once you find your balance, slowly lower that back knee down. Breathe, settle. Again, we're kind of the last few moments of this, this practice here. So just deep in the full body breath. Breathe in as you drag the feet towards each other, squaring your hips. Keep especially that back leg strong as you bend into the front knee. So options, arms overhead as you inhale. With the clasp, uh, sorry, bend of the elbows perhaps to lift the chest more. And then finally, maybe reach those arms overhead again, maybe point your toes back to unfold through the whole body, through that back leg, front knee, through your spine. One more big breath here. All right, touch it down from there. And now lift your back knee, pivot around again, pause. And let's hold here. So you're going to firm bend to your knees, stretch those legs strong, as you can really see that here, quite a view, right, sit so bones high, and toning your abdomen to support that. If you're tighter, just bend your knees and try to get more tip from your pelvis, you're not kind of locked out in this kind of rounded shape here, right, so tip from your hips, tone your center, hang your head down, smooth out your breath. All right, inhale, arch up to halfway. Pivot back to that left leading lunge, just passing through, but make sure you square your hips all the way straight ahead. Step to plank. And then get a big full breath in as you push through your hands and tighten through the center. Exhale, lower down strong and straight. One more time, stretch those legs along and strong, cobra pose. You can slide the hands back a little further, chest up, head up. Keep your abdomen strong, belly ribs and throat. Use those strong shoulder blades. Lowering down from there. Downward facing dog, push it up and back. Breathe in here, breathe out. And pull those ribs in, stay your arms. And can again, you bend your knees enough to tip the sit bones a little higher without losing that. Stretch your way through. And look to the front. Heels high, hips high, tip toe. A little hop on your way. Arch up halfway with the inhale. Fold with your exhale. And the other chip halfway with the inhale. Bend your knees, hands on thighs. Chest up and head up. And rise with your inhale. Lower the arms. And now from here, standing <clears throat> as we did at the beginning, steady feet, strong through the middle. Clasp the hands behind your back. Or put a strap. You could also take a, a belt or a shirt. You can be wider apart, right, as needed. If you're clasping hands with a non-dominant clasp on top, and keep the wrists a little rounded, the elbows a little bent, and either work those shoulders back, whether you're clasping hands or you're using something to pull against. So a couple of breaths here, keeping your legs strong, your abdomen strong, and getting a good stretch in the shoulders. So then we'll separate the feet about wide hips width, and bend your knees, fold from your hips, and tip forward here. Think about still sliding your shoulder blades, shoulder blades up the back. Tone your belly, hang your head down. 
Press strongly into your feet. Smooth out your breath. And carefully release your hands. Pass your hips to the floor without arching up. Halfway, stretch out long through your spine. And just step easily back through hands and knees. Toes touching, knees apart. Hips to heels. Tone your belly in and up and slowly lower down into child's pose. If your head doesn't reach the floor, you can put a uh, support of your arms under your head or a block. Take three deep breaths here, breathing in, breathing out. Grounding your hips and legs all the way down into your feet. Just feel the evenness of your breath, the depth of your breath, how it seems to move through your whole body. Your mind absorbed and, and channeled into that flow. And sit up carefully from there on your heels for just a moment. And either come to rest on your back for a few moments, or sit and breathe for a few more moments, or maybe you'll move on to another sequence to round out your practice. Thank you.